Ground shaking, earthquaking, Kahoma Community College Marching Maroon Typhoon Band. MMT offers your HBCU band and college experience in a two year setting. The CCC band is seeking talented musicians and dancers from all over the nation. That means you. Attend Kahoma Community College, Mississippi's premier two year HBCU, and receive a quality education in one of our academic, career tech, or health science programs, all while getting your black college experience. Scholarships are available now, and audition sessions can be scheduled today. So, if you want to get your HBCU experience, attend college at a low cost or free, and want to join one of the nation's fastest growing HBCU bands, then the Kahoma Community College Marching Maroon Typhoon Band is the right place for you. Schedule your audition today. It's about to get loud. At Kahoma, you'll be a part of a campus community who understands you and accepts you for who you are. A community that, from its very beginning, has worked to ensure that its students' dreams and goals become a reality, no matter where they come from. With a long history of educating generation after generation of successful Tiger alumni, Homa offers a unique opportunity for you to be a part of our nation's rich cultural history. Everyone deserves access to a college education that prepares them for success. That's why our caring faculty and staff go the extra mile to make sure you reach your goals. With so many opportunities to grow, connect, engage, and relate with like-minded individuals like you, let Kahoma be the place where you discover your true potential and prepare to make your mark on the world. You belong here. At Kahoma, we are family, and we'll take you further. Kahoma taught me exactly what I needed to know, the equipment I was going to work with, how to speak to physicians, put me in an actual clinical setting. It really prepared me to be a great therapist. Kahoma is a hidden gem. It is programs like those offered in the Health Sciences Division that really set us apart. When you have departments in this division that have a 100% pass rate on national credentialing exams, they must be doing something right. Kahoma has been very easy to get in touch with, very easy to communicate with, and very much willing to help me get the process going. The instructors here are really invested in you learning the material. They're going to push you to be the best that you can be. They're going to push you to read all the material you need and to learn everything you possibly can to be your best self. They definitely encourage participation and uh, give us good avenues to learn. We've had a cadaver lab where we've actually got to go to Memphis and do procedures on a cadaver. So there's been a, a lot of good opportunities that are specific to this program that I don't think I would have gotten if I was somewhere else. Testing healthcare, one. everyone Testing has to function one. as the team. It's called the healthcare Testing team. One. And so we try to help each program one. understand one. in the real Testing world, one. how do you work together Testing with one. your coworker? And another discipline. If you're interested, I say go for it. You're not going to regret it. They're here to help. Our mission is your success. You came to us with a dream. You came to us with a goal. And it is our mission to see you through to that goal. If you have that level of commitment and you want to see this through, we can get you there. Get your appetites ready. Kahoma Community College will be serving up something delicious as they host the men of the Mississippi Delta are cooking. The event, scheduled for Thursday, April 14th, brings together local chefs and home cooks and their cooking teams to battle it out to please the taste buds of eager, hungry attendees. Participating chefs come from all sectors across the Mississippi Delta, from banking to clergy, lawyers to realtors, higher education to local media, and everything in between. Chef's dishes, which are prepared off-site, will be judged by event attendees in the areas of taste, presentation, and creativity. The winning chefs will be awarded their share of $1,000 cash and other great prizes.
One ticket allows you to sample various dishes that our participating chefs prepare. The proceeds benefit the Cahoma Community College Foundation Incorporated, a nonprofit geared towards assisting CCC students in achieving their academic and career dreams through financial support. So please join us in Clarksdale, Mississippi on Thursday, April 14th, 2022 from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the lawn of the historic Couture Mansion. This event will showcase the best of our community and provide needed scholarship dollars for our deserving students. We hope you will be there with us as we move to build a stronger and more sustainable Cahoma Community College. To register as a chef or join us as a patron, visit www.cahomacc.edu or click the link below for full details. We can't wait to see you there. So get your appetite ready for a worthy cause. Good morning. Good morning. That was actually a sound session. So some of you will remain seated and some of you stood up a win welcome uh, to our annual uh, convocation program our actual retirement and award program here in the pinnacle on this day at 10 o'clock my name is val mitch town i'm privileged to serve as president of cahoma community college and again i say welcome to each of uh, each of you 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 may or may not have a program we do have a program we will have welcome given by mr ccc mr collins uh, from Greenwood, Mississippi, as well as Miss CC, uh, Miss McKinley from Greenville, Mississippi. Two Greens are in the house. And so we ask that they will come in that order respectively, Mr. Collins and Mr. McKinley. Good morning to President Towner. Board of Trustees, Administration, Faculty, Staff, and Student Body. I am your 2021-2022 Mr. Cahoma Community College, Isaiah Collins. Good morning. My name is Jameen McKinley. I am your 2021-2022 Miss Cahoma Community College. You are very welcome to our 2022 Founders Day Convocation. I am so happy to see everyone. A big thanks to each and every one of you. Without you, we couldn't possibly make this a great program. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome. And thank, thank you, you all for coming to our Founders Day Convocation. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Collins and Ms. Ms. McKinley. They've served honorably and exemplarily uh, this year. And so we're so proud of them. We know that they will do great things uh, in the future. Uh, are you okay today, this morning? All right, some of you have masks on, some of you don't have masks on. Uh, and I hope that you're smiling. Is everybody smiling? Let's see, is there a smile? Uh, to look to the left and see, can you spread a little smile to the left? And to the right? All right, if your neck doesn't have arthritis, look her back to the back. Feel like your head is on a swivel, huh? Okay. 
Again, welcome again to the program. We're grateful to these uh, wonderful students, Mr. Miss, Mr. and Miss CCC, for welcoming us officially. And now we ask that our choir will come and give us a live rendition of a musical selection so that you'll wake up. Will you put your hands together and give an ovation to the choir as they come at this time? Okay, well, the choir is going to come back a little later. Again, we're so happy to see each of you here, family and friends. We're grateful to, that you come, that you've come on this morning. We're also happy to see at least one board member here, and uh, she is perhaps uh, not the newest, or sort of new, but not new to the institution at all. Been affiliated with this institution for a number of years. Kyria, you may know her, and that is Miss Lois McMurch. I want her to stand at this time. She just got back from the Holy Land. So thank you, Ms. McMurchy, for coming back. Do I have any more uh, board members that are here on today? Okay. We're so happy to have her as well as any of our guests that are here. And I'm sure that we will point uh, and acknowledge some of those guests as we go on a little further. So today is the Retiree and Service Award Program for the college, which, which happens with our annual uh, we call it, used to call it Founders Day Week, Arbor Day Week, or Arbor Day. Uh, we now call it what it is actually, um, what do we call it? Cultural awareness because of funding issues. Cultural awareness had to change the jargon. Nonetheless, this is a time in which we reflect in the spring months, pushing towards graduation, and we honor those persons that make up, make up the... Uh, the gist of the institution. On the seal for the college, by the way, the seal is always four lines, according to Mr. Henry Dorsey. If you ever see a seal that has three lines, that's not right. Four lines developing, what does it say? Human and natural resources. The greatest resource we have at Coleman Community College, obviously, is um, with persons. There's a story told by about a Greek mythical fit figure named Arnisimus. It is said that Arnisimus deliberately lived a life of piety, one that was equivalent to being a monk. He deliberately deprived himself. And the, the story is that when he was out in the wilderness, living alone with, me, with just mild um, subsistence or mild things to live by, he decided that one day that he would go into town. Now notice that his mantra in life was to live off very little or nothing at all. And people wonder why would he go into town uh, and look at things in which he was not a person that would, would shop. And uh, he went into town. They say he went window shopping. Anybody know what that is? You, uh, in this day and age of internet buying, window shopping, going from shop to shop, obviously looking at things never did buy anything. Then he came back home to the wilderness. Wilderness, And he, they said he came back with a smile. I said, why did you smile? You didn't buy anything? You, didn't you see something that you wanted? He said, no. He said, I did not see anything I wanted. He said, well, why? Are, they said, why are you smiling? He said, well, I'm smiling because when I went from shop to shop, I saw all the things that were glowing and with glitter. And I realized how fortunate I am to not have an appetite to want those things that are in the windows because I have the most important things that I need that is such thing as peace and joy and happiness. So he was overjoyed, so to speak, by not having the shop, but not only not having the shop, but also not having a desire to want those things. I said that to say this as a symbolism to where we are now, you know, Kahoma has a lot of things, a lot of things we don't have. But we're certainly fortunate to go window shopping today. And we're grateful for those persons that we have to my left and to my right. Would you give them a hand of applause? Some retiring, some are reaching milestones. Now, you're going to have to give me uh, directives now as we prepare to go into that, unless the choir is ready to come. Are you ready to come? All right, let's give the choir a hand now as they come.
Wollen wir nicht singen? Father, I stretch. You want? Ladies and gentlemen, a concert spiritual entitled Wade in the Water, arranged by Stacey Gibbs. Okay, thank you. Wow. Come on up here and stand with me. Doesn't this feel good? Is that they looking? Why are they so quiet? 
Huh? They ready to see what you got to say next? Oh, wow. What do you think I should say? Whatever you want to say. Oh, what, do you, what I should say? Wade in the water? Yeah. Okay. You want to? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. I got faith in you. Thank you. I appreciate you from Greenville. <laughs> you don't have faith in me? I got faith, but I know you can't do that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he must be a preacher. <laughs> Come on, let's get a choir hand. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Dr. Towers, and uh, he's coming back momentarily. Momentarily, he's coming back and because they're getting ready to go across. They're getting ready to not only wade in the water, they, they're getting ready to go on a trip, a cruise. I'm not sure the destination. What's the destination? They're going, you, oh, you're going? Oh, wow. When do you leave? Right after graduation. Right after graduation. Oh, do I? You didn't save me a room? Ah, uh, you had to talk about time. Oh, my goodness. I'm out of luck. I'm out of luck. Okay. So at this particular time, I'm bedecked here with Mr. CCC and Miss CCC. They're going to help me. They don't know it, but since they have on gray and pink, they're going to help me with the awards, I believe, this time. Uh, someone is going to start moving. Come on. Uh, Miss Dixon's going to come get a real good close shot of us today right here. And uh, you're going to come, ladies? What are we doing next? Okay, we have acknowledgement of service awards. So am I receiving something? Okay, so look at my twins. As my twins come, will you give my twins a hand? So we can use, uh, again, Mr. Collins and Mr. Mc Ms. McKinley. Mr. Collins, if you please go get that first award, and then Ms. McKinley is going to help me deliver. Is this a service award? Okay, retiree. Okay, so, wow, they made it, Yolanda, Ms. Miller? They actually made it? Oh, okay. All right. Are you nervous? Mm -hmm. That's okay. They, they they loosen up a little bit as time passes. But all right. So we're waiting. Okay. So this next person, uh, this first person rather. Oh my goodness! I could just go off the script here, but since you know, I don't want to get Chris rocked up here. Um, <laughs> Right. <laughs> this person has 17 years of service, most recently to the institution, and they serve as a faculty member. And I'm, I'm, I'm deliberately skipping some of the um, Vita here, but they are married, they have children, and they have hobbies such as long distance road trips uh, to the Arctic Ocean. Um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Redondo Beach, Carolina. This person has been to it all but three states in the United States. That's Rhode Island, Oregon, and Idaho. They have not been there. Uh, they're going to make those trips soon, and they love to bake pies and bread. And if you follow them on their Facebook page, you will get real-time uh accounts of them baking. This person's a delight to work with. I've known them woo, since the seventies when I was a student at St. Elizabeth's school. They once served as the mayor of this great city. Uh, he is I just a delight. I've been begging him not to retire for the last five years or so and he's finally gonna do it. He is, we got, we're going to do something here on this campus and memorialize this person. And I could go on and on and on, but you should know Mr. Spirit himself, Mr. John Mayo. Can we hear from Mr. Mayo? So, Mr. Mayo, yes, sir, we're happy to have you. And uh, John can't hear me, but let me say, so we're going to all take a picture with you. We're going to all take a picture with you. I had talked like I talked to my daddy.
Come on, you got to say something. Um, I owe Oklahoma Community College my life. When I came home from Vietnam, I had three goals in mind. Oklahoma helped me get two of them. And teaching, I hope, helps me get the third when a student from Oklahoma runs for governor. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. We appreciate you. Great ambassador for this community, for the college, as well as the state of Mississippi. Great ambassador. Okay. This next person, again, I'm, I'm sort of going around and about with Evita, so excuse me, persons, retirees, if I skip something, I do not mean any harm. Uh, they have degrees galore. They have hobbies of reading and listening to God's word and having great conversation with friends and family. Uh, they are married and uh, they have a they have a child and they have grandchildren. I'm just trying to keep you in suspense. And this person probably could be five or six persons on this campus. And they are the shortest person. I'm giving it away now. They're the shortest person in our group. Let me use a bit of colloquialism, Ms. Reed. It ain't Michael Houston. And, uh, but they are a delight to work with. Surprise me. I told that person they're going to end up working somewhere else. That's why they retire. But would you please join me? They have degrees galore. So I'm not sliding this person by their degrees. Very highly credentialed. Uh, when Sachs came to visit us, I'll tell this. When Sachs came to visit us, the uh, leadership team, visit from the visiting team, proudly announced that they would love to be the highest person with their institution or recommend this person to work at another institution. That's that's a testament to Kahoma. Kahoma has a lot of people that can work anywhere on the planet. And so they were here, I'm glad that they're here. They serve as Director of Research Assessment and Strategic Initiatives, SACS Liaison, Scholarship Chairperson, and a whole host of things. The shortest person on our team, Miss Margaret Dixon, 23 years of service. Whoa, <laughs> that's all I can say is whoa. But um, I knew this day was coming, but the only word I kept hearing, Dr. Tanner, was grateful. Very, very grateful for every opportunity Kahoma has afforded me over this 23 years. Um, I even got to be a background dancer at Kahoma. I always wanted to put on a mini skirt and dance in the back of somebody. And I did it. <laughs> we did it. We was Ray Charles and the Ray Liz. That's my other Ray Liz right over there, Katara Tyler. <laughs> but I am grateful for the opportunity. I'm, I'm so grateful for my, my husband and my beautiful daughter for just standing by me the whole time I was giving my whole life to Kahoma. And um, I'm just ready to share my remaining life with them and my grandkids. And every person that I work with, thank you. Thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everything. It's a blessing to get to have a family with 200 plus people. That's really a blessing. And I personally probably know everybody on campus. So I just, I'm just grateful. Thank you, Dr. Towner. I appreciate it. My pleasure. And she's working to the very last day. I don't know if she's going to get off before July first or not, but she's working today. She's going to present today at 3 o'clock or so. So uh, we're grateful for, for Miss Dixon as well. So good to see you as well, family. Uh, next person we have is, all right, now, this is the tallest person in the group, and they've been with us a number of years, been here for this last stint, 24 years. This person has a very bubbly personality. Uh, just They just light up a room, and, and, just, and they're just, you know, uh, anti-stork and what have you. They have, he, this person has hobbies of reading. I was, when I said a bubbly personality, I was just playing now. Okay. 
This person has hobbies of reading, watching sports. What's the rest of this say? Spending time with family. This is my eyes over here. They are married, have children, grandchildren, um, four to be exact. And that's why they were really ticked off when we changed the spring break time, but they couldn't do the spring break. That may have put them into retirement. But after 24 years, this person is a graduate here also of the college as well as, uh, as, well as the high school. Has degrees, credentials. Again, we just not sliding it person, but uh, they're properly credentialed and been a very good delight to work with. And the tallest person on our team. Yes, Mr. Michael Houston. All right, Mr. Houston. He hails from the great and grand town called Jonestown. Yeah. Dr. Allen, I would Can like you get to the picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to admit to my own call I would like to thank uh, Dr. Towner for allowing me to serve in my position. As long as the last administration, Dr. Presley, who hired me for this position. I would like to say I've enjoyed my time here at Cahoma, and I'll say for the next 79 days. <laughs> You're going to work 79 days? Yes, I'm going to work 79 more days. And then I'm going to say goodbye. All right. But you got some company here with you, Mr. Houston. Oh, she's sharp and dressed. You got to make her stand up. Okay. okay. I would like to ask my mom, my sister, and my wife. She over there taking pictures. She, she don't want to stand. No, nah, she can't make her do anything. She's just going to wait. Where where the wife go? Because see... Yeah, oh, yes. And I see, see, Mr. Houston went home during the Christmas break. Tomorrow, he's going to put his foot down. He came back with his foot in the cast, man. It's a, it's a, good to see you, Mr. Houston. A, all right. So, the next person, um, next person, wait a minute. This can't be right. This is a, this is not a retirement here, is it? Oh, I've been saying, yeah, I've been saying, okay. I'm saying I'm not gonna let that person go. Okay. All right, here we go. Now y'all, now you're scaring me. Okay, now this person has been here a long time and uh served ably and uh, just a fixture here, graduate of the college as well as Mississippi Valley State University De degrees, very highly credentialed, has hobbies of event planning, sewing, reading, and teaching. Um Husband, a late husband taught here at Aggie, and I was, I've said this very publicly, and I said again, he and Mr. Green taught me how to teach math. And um, he, she is uh, just a delight to work with, always a team player, very pleasant spirit, very supportive, wonderful family. I could go on and on and on, a lot of sentimental affinity for this person, as I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have an affinity for this person here. We would certainly miss her as well, a remnant of her will still remain here, though, I believe, because her, her daughter is still be employed here. But they have been here for 32 years of service. Man, it's a good little time, isn't it? Think you can work somewhere 32 years? You don't think so? <laughs> 32 years of service, and they look still absolutely phenomenal. I think you will agree when you see her stand. And her name is Miss Rose Lockett. Would you give her a hand? Isn't she lovely? It's good to see you. Thank you, Dr. Towns. Yes, ma'am. All right. Come on, yeah. say something to us. Surely will. I got a little piece of everybody in me here. And I'm so proud that I have worked here for several years and, and I taught in, at Aggie and graduated from Aggie as well. And I have uh, served under Dr. McKinley Martin, Dr. Presley, and you. Yes, ma'am. Went to school under Miller, James Miller, and knew our very first president. So I'm so proud to have served here. And I call it service. It's not a job, it's a good opportunity. Anybody who's coming to work at Oklahoma, you will find a good opportunity, a great place to live. And I am grateful 
thankful. I can I can say all those words that the others have said, and I appreciate you so much. Oh, you good job. Good job. <laughs> and by the way, she's from Rudyard, Mississippi. Great place to live. Anybody else from Rudyard? Anybody? All right then. All right then. Anybody want to be from Rudyard? Thank you so much. Let's give her a hand. That was my sister. That was your sister? Okay, I look forward to meeting your sister. All right, any other family members here? Okay, well. And, and my niece, Enrica. That's her daughter. Send aside the sister. Okay, we're happy to have all, the, all of the family. Let's give them a hand as well. Thank you so much. All right. I tease about Rudyard. That's a famous preacher there by the name of Jay Jackson. It's from Rudyard, Mississippi. Another person here, I uh, certainly hate to see this person go, as with all of these persons, these colleagues. It is truly uh, a very factual statement. What makes working more pleasant and uh, beneficial than anything is being able to work with good people that you're at peace with and that you get along with and that you can uh, consider not only as colleagues, but as, as dear friends. Wouldn't you say that's the case? That makes the, that makes the college experience uh, one that is beneficial. So we have here a person that has again credentials and uh, a lot of things there, right? Okay, and they have hobbies of traveling and cooking and fishing and watching football and doing a number of things. They have a spouse that has signage all over the place. In fact, he's going to have signs in heaven. They say has grandchildren. I'm not trying to go see the signs in heaven right today. though. Yeah, right now, right now. A little later on. Yeah, we're going to wait to that. All right. Uh, and again, I could go on and on and on. A delight to work with. Very, very affable person. Just, just a delight to work with. And we're so happy for her and her retirement going out when she wants to go out. She serves as Assistant Chief Financial Officer. She knows how to get that money. Would you give a hand to Miss Robbie Wallace? I asked her, where's her husband? I don't want to hug her too tight. Where's your husband? There you go. You got a word for us. Yes. I want to thank God for this opportunity to, uh, you know, have worked at Cajoma for all these years. And Cajoma has been a part of my life since I was six years old. I started first grade at Sonia Bayer Elementary on this campus. And I had the privilege of working under nine chief physical officers. So all of my time uh, at Cajoma, I've been in the business office, and I thank Dr. Tanner for the opportunity. Who was the first one, Mr. Gorman? Uh, Diane Day when I came. Diane Day, I remember that name. Then Mr. Yeah. Gorman was the second one there, maybe? Or Mr. Gorman, did you ever work for Mr. Gorman? He had slid off. Wow, come on, let's give her a hand. Thank you so much, good to see you, family. We're gonna miss Miss Wallace. Okay, so that's it for the retirees? Okay, let's give the retirees a big hand. We need to make sure, I wanna do that right now. Come on, retirees, would you please come right quickly? Come on up right quickly, right quickly. And Mr. Miss CCC is gonna be with us right quickly. I know this is this would be a commercial break if it were live, but it's not. Come on, let's get a picture right quickly. Melanie is waiting, she's itching to get a picture. Oh, blessed quietness. Okay. No soft music. Okay. Thank you. Is that it, Melanie? Thank you so much. All right. So I got good help today. You all want to take the mic? Come on, y'all stand there. Come on. I need leaning posts. That's what Moses needed. Aaron and her. Okay. So at this particular time, again, what makes an institution great 
consist of the people. The people make the institution great. So we're excited to engage on milestones that are reached. Milestones that are reached. This person has reached a milestone of 25 years. Now, they have uh, graduated. Wow, I didn't know that. From Columbia River High School, not in Mississippi, but in Vancouver, Washington. And they have degrees and so forth, and they enjoy running, something I despise doing. They consider themselves as a sports mom, uh, and they have sons that play ball, so they have to be a sports mom. This person teaches Sunday school and works for the youth at Riverside Baptist Church. Uh, has a husband of 20 years, and again, two sons, Braden and Ryder, and I'm giving an abbreviated uh, commentary of her uh, beater, so to speak. But we're happy to congratulate a friend of mine, one that, uh, you know, Miss Lois actually hired, uh, and that is Miss Kyrie and TC. She used to be Nelson. Miss Kyrie and TC, 25 years of service. Would you give her a hand? Kira is running for me. She don't want to get that mic. <laughs> all right. The next person we have. This person. All right. They are in. They are in CTE. They have degrees again. Master, specialist, BS. They have hobbies of ice skating and reading books. They are have a. They're married. Have a son or sons plural daughter and this person's delight to work with this person is so dull just just you just have to pride them to talk and smile and so I'm, I'm seeing that she's being more bubbly today than she ever has been and uh would you please join me in congratulating this person for 15 years of service to Kahoma Community College a delight to work with Miss Toronisha Butler You know, it's called conforming. <laughs> okay. Good to see you, Mr. Dunn, Dr. Dunn. I understand why you're here now. I thought he was just coming to see me, but he just. This person for, this person that uh, we want to acknowledge for 25 years of service, and they're somewhat like Miss Butler, just so dull and bland. They just. You never, yeah, just never smile. You ever seen a smile? I never seen a smile. You ever seen a smile? Yeah. Never seen a smile. Just, uh, and they are, they are, they are from here, graduated uh, from a school up there in New York area, Amherst. And again, they were highly credentialed, great family, uh, married, two wonderful children, and has hobbies of reading, shopping, traveling, spending time with family. Hope that she can eventually one day start to smile, be more personable. Um, and again, we're so happy to have this person. She's one of our own for 25 years of service. This person has saved a lot of lives. A lot of students love this person on a very serious note. And that is Mrs. Karen Dunn. Don't smile. <laughs> Let's get right here. Go ahead. Dr. Dunn, you know we're friends. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So the next person we have is one that's been here for 20 years of consecutive service to the college. They have multiple degrees. Um, and again, they serve as an instructor here, has hobbies of reading Christian fiction books, bowling, and watching drama and comedy and thriller movies, along with family and friends. And 
and those that may be in town or out of town. Uh, they are married, have been married since uh, 1990. Wow, okay. Uh, I think Al Green used to sing a song, Let's Stay Together. That's. <laughs> they have three children and two grandchildren. They are absolutely wonderful as well. Uh, we're so excited about her meeting this milestone of 20 years of service. They serve as a business and CIS instructor. Would you please join me in giving an ovation to Miss Linda, Mrs. Linda Elliott. All right. This is working out good. I came up with a great idea. Mr. and Miss CCC helping me. You you want to make the announcement? You got it. I got it. You want to sing it? Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> this person here, I tell you, I mean, they just talk too much. <laughs> I mean, in a good sense. Um, this satire, they don't talk that much. this. But this person is a delight, very smart person, uh, graduated from here and a school down south called Alcorn State University. Yeah. And has degrees and credentials. They love, enjoy, they enjoy playing golf and making music. Very talented. They are married and have two wonderful children. And again, I, I comically, in a satire way, said that they talk a lot. Uh, does not talk that much, but when they do speak up, uh, whatever they say means volumes and carries a lot of credibility. This person serves as the director of our web services and among other things for 15 years of uninterrupted service to the institution, uh, Mr. Elder Ezra Howard. All right. So next person we have, again, we're so excited to take our time to acknowledge all these uh, recipients. This person here is uh, been here 15 years consecutively and has, again, degrees. This is one of my MBLI compadres. Uh, those that know about that know about that. And uh, he serves as a director of Honors College and business CIS, CIS instructor. Uh, he is a bachelor, ladies. <laughs> bachelor, most eligible bachelor. He has two brothers and no children, and uh, I just always love and talking with him. He enjoys again traveling, grilling, blogging, reading, photography, playing role, uh, playing, and he's just a delight to talk with and to be around. Very smart individual. Kahoma is absolutely fortunate to have him been in 15 years. Would you join me in giving ovation to Mr. Jeremy Pittman? He's walking like a bachelor, isn't he? He's walking like a bachelor, man. Come on, let's go over. Let's, let's get us a nice camp. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. The next person has has been here for 15 years of service. They they have graduated from Aggie, A G G I E, in 2005, and also from Coma Community College. They're highly credentialed. They have hobbies of spending time with family and traveling. They have one child and. Uh, family members and this person again is part of the ed talent search uh program and we're excited for her being here for 15 consecutive years she gets the job done we appreciate her for 15 consecutive years of service to the college would you join me in giving an ovation to miss felicia stevenson <laughs> All 
right. Oh, okay, we're pushing on. We thank you for your patience, but this is worth the time that it takes to do this and uh, acknowledge these persons that make up the institution. This person um, has uh, credentials from the college and they are an exceptional, exceptional CTE instructor. Uh, all this person's graduates tend to get picked up very quickly from local companies and beyond. They are married and uh, he doesn't, he talks a lot, uh, sometimes in a way, but uh, married with family and grandchildren has a one due in July, so he's on pins and needles about that. But uh, very, very reputable uh, instructor who again equips students to get get to receive training and leave and go out and do well. He's quiet and unassuming, but he gets the job done, and I like him. And the college is very fortunate to have him for 15 years of service. His name is Mr. Henry D. Stripling. You felt like you wanted to hug me back or something. <laughs> he looked at me like, oh. congratulations, Mr. Stripling. The next person we have, thank you, is uh, has been here for 25 years of service. Oh, a delight. We're so appreciative to, to her for her service. Uh, she's a graduate of Clarksdale High School and did also attend Cahoma Community College properly credentialed and has hobbies of reading, walking, and spending time with uh, her grandson. Has a daughter, one daughter, and grandson has family, a sister, and brothers. Again, they've been here for 25 years. This is a silver anniversary. They serve in a very important role because it is a very important role, and we're so happy to have her stay with us this long and hope that she continues to be with us. Would you please strongly commemorate and give ovation to Miss Joanne Thomas. All right. There you go. You should hug me back. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, moving right along. Again, for 15 years of service to the college, this person is a data manager, administrative assistant. They work in the, uh, they actually provide service uh, to the college through that role and has hobbies of reading, shopping, and listening to music. They're married with four children, one granddaughter. They've been here for 15 years in a very important role of providing assistance administratively. Would you join me in celebrating again for 15 years of service, Miss Tiffany Johnson Williams. All right, thank you, Ms. Johnson Williams. For 25 years of service, oh my goodness. This is a tell it like it is person. When I see her coming, I got to, you know. <laughs> this, is a, this is a supervisor and uh, went to Aggie and well, as well as the college working on uh, educational uh, endeavors at this time. They, they like bike riding, playing sports, reading, listening to music, telling Dr. Towner what he needs to do. <laughs> they have, uh, they have uh, deceased spouse, deceased son, and two boys that are still living. And we certainly, absolutely appreciate her and her spirit. She loves this institution, I can tell you that. And been here 25 years, and her name is Miss Helen Denise Young.
Thank you. Man, that hair is laid, boy. That hair is laid, Miss Young. That's all right. Is that it? All right, so that is it. Let's give all of our uh, honorees a hand. And would you please give my sisters a hand? They are absolutely wonderful. We do need to take a picture. Honorees, would you please come? Let's take a collective picture. And as they're coming and the choir is assembling, go ahead, choir. And let me go ahead and announce on this Thursday, this Thursday, come on around. Let's please, we have the choirs moving and you're moving too. This Thursday, we have a, an event at the Couture Mansion. It is uh, labeled men, but it is gender, non-gender competitive. You know, you can't, if men are going to be around, you got to have women. More so than anything, it's triple F. It's fun, fellowship, and financing. So please come out. We expect, they're saying we're going to have good weather after tomorrow. It'll be a little cool on Thursday before Good Friday, before we kick off the Easter weekend. If you would come to the Couture Mansion, the Higher Ed Center, what's the time frame start? Five, five o'clock? Starting at five o'clock. You want to get there early? Uh, if you want to spend the night, you got to see uh, Jen Walker about that. But please come. How many of you going to come by show of hands? Now, some of y'all ain't raising your hand. Okay. So are you getting the picture, Miss? Okay, so again, thank you so much. Let's give them one more hand, please. The choir's coming momentarily. This is going to be the last thing I'm going to say, perhaps. I do see our board chair in the back there. Mr. Dennis Hawking, would you raise your back there? We're okay. We're so happy you give him a hand as well. Do we have any more board members that are here? All right. Even the sheriff is in the house. We're going to behave, sheriff. We're not going to do anything. Family members, let me acknowledge you, please. I, I know the choir is coming momentarily. Yeah, I got her. I get her again, Miss McMurtry. Thank you. Don't let me go wrong, twin. <laughs> family members, again, family members, would you please stand? Dr. Dunn and others, please stand. Family members. <laughs> North during the middle of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, because we know that they can't sit here unless they have your support. Uh, we're so happy, again, to have those that are visiting with us, such as the one and only, the one and only, Miss Wanda Reed. I want her to stand. Miss Wanda Reed. Now, does she look good? Come here, Miss Reed. Miss Reed, please come here, please. You know I had to ask her. She has seen I had to ask her, please. Like, Melly, get a good picture of this one, okay? This is a seasoned English. No, 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 not old, no. Season. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Mrs. Hanford reminded me today, or some days ago, that the program was today. I've been retired from Kahoma for seven years. This is my seventh year. And I worked for 45. I know most of you thought I was no more than 45 years old. But I just looked that good. So good to see you. I feel like a little boy when I see you. All right, all right. Just remember you, my earliest days of Oklahoma. I can tell you that one thing, the choir's coming when, one thing that kind of, I don't know if she was going to retire away, but at that time we were thinking about college teachers, Ms. Reed, you remember this? We were thinking about college teachers literally teaching some high school classes. And I told her that she, she did not say a profanation, but her, her mannerism was like a profanation. And next thing I know, she said, I'm gone. <laughs> so happy to see you. Do we have any more retirees from the college that are here? Any more retirees? All right. Okay. Oh, good to see you. Library is here. Good to see you. Miss Joyce, good to see you. Any other retirees? 
Well, all right. Hey, the best choir in the land is here, you all. And their name is Cahoma Community College Choir. Let's give them a hand as they come. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this has been a very challenging two years for our students, our faculty and staff, and just say our whole entire college community. But we, I'm learning that we have to be thankful and just grateful for just the smaller things. You know, um, we still have yet, we still have life. We're on this side, and others may can't say the same. As we speak, one of our music students is currently on life support in Jacksonville Hospital. And as a way of encouragement, we just like to sing and share this little short excerpt with us, with everyone on this Founders Day. As we sing this selection, it simply says, there's nobody but Jesus. Nobody, 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 
church. Okay? <laughs> hey, this is the academy, but we made a great blunder. Would you please stand? We made it. Would you please stand? We're about to leave. We made a great blunder, a great blunder. This is the academy, so I do know separation of church and state. But uh, as you're going into retirement season and as you reach milestone, milestones rather, uh, and they're not milestones, milestones, uh, you got to, you know, that song is very important. I want to ask now, we made a great mistake, great blunder on my part. I want to ask now that our pseudo chaplain come, Mr. Gooden. I call him, Mr. that's my dad's favorite young preacher. Mr. Gooden, come on, I'll put you on the spot. My coach's son, I want him to come and give us a closing prayer because we didn't start with one. I unashamedly have to live with it. Uh, and so I know this is the cat. He's going to pray. Then we're going to have the alma mater as we prepare to go. Y'all don't get scared. Y'all do pray, don't you? Okay. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we're thankful to be here today, Lord God, because we understand that you made it possible. Father, we are grateful and mindful, Lord God, that this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for those that we honor today, Lord God, their service uh, to this school, Lord God, this institution, but more so even to this community. And Father God, we pray that the legacy that they established will continue to move forward. That Lord God, that you will bless to send people here, Lord God, with a heart to want to bless others. Father God, we pray right now, Lord, that you will continue to use us for your glory. We thank God for the students that are here, all of those who participate that make Kahoma what it is. And right now, Lord God, we're leaning on you. In tough times and good times, we rely and trust on you, O oh Lord God, for there is no failure in our God. And as we leave here today, Lord God, let your will be done, Lord, and help us to accomplish everything that you've assigned to us. And not only that we do it, Lord God, but we do it with grace, humility, and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.